We got some more G.I. Joe retro stuff on the scene, and we got Sergeant Stalker and the Cobra Trooper. And I was actually lucky enough to find both of these guys in stores. Oh my goodness. Uh, I've seen plenty of Stalkers. Um, and I actually managed to find a few Cobra Troopers. I bought two, left the other one, because I usually try to keep it at two if I'm buying duplicates. But yes, new G.I. Joe Retro. And man, they've kind of made this new body for a lot of these G.I. Joe Retro figures. And I can see why the new body's a little, you know, maybe a little divisive. But I personally love it. I think this new style of G.I. Joe body is superb. These are some of the best G.I. Joe figures we've gotten in three and a quarter in forever. And uh, let's just start talking about him. We'll talk about Stalker first. Let's look at his card back. So, yeah. I love these retro card backs. Unfortunately, the bubble's huge. So it doesn't really have, you know, how it used to really look. But you can see it has the classic art for Alonzo Stalker Wilkson. You can see on the back, got the file card, multilingual, so it's massive. You can see all the characters so far. Um, I only have these two out of these. Because the Duke, they used that horrible yelling face and it totally ruined it. And it's like they didn't use the Chrome for the... I already had the Destro, I already had Lady J. So these are actually some of the newer ones. Like new bodies, new, you know, stuff going on. So it's really exciting. So yep, there's a card back for Stalker. And let's take a look at him because he's pretty cool. I like me some Stalker. So yeah, I know actual G.I. Joe fans will be like, Why do you have them holding both guns that you can't fire the guns? They're, you know, too powerful. Blah, blah, blah. I just have him holding all the accessories, okay? <laughs> because per G.I. Joe fashion, he comes with a lot of accessories. So I don't know, like, gun names, uh, but he comes with these two guns. They've got the nice stocks on them. They've got the big old mags sticking out. They look really cool. I really like those guns. Then he has a knife that doesn't really have a holster, but I just kind of wedge it in his gear. So he's got a nice little knife there with some nice silver paint. And he has a pistol, which is also very nice. And if it slots very nicely into the holster. Keep that in mind, because there have been some 3 and quarter G.I. Joe figures that just don't hold, the, the, the guns don't stay in the holster very well. Yeah, this uses a really new body, but it does use the nice old bases. I love these style of bases. Um, and yeah, the new body's got some interesting stuff going on. So his head looks amazing. Like that, that just looks so good. I mean, come on, it's Stalker. Stalker's awesome. He's got the, the dark green beret. He's got the camo on his outfit. His hands actually have up and down on both, left and right, because they finally realized that, that is basically the only useful wrist hinge you could ever have on anybody that wields weapons. If they're wielding weapons, what good is that? Anyways. Um, it's just really nice. Like, it's got a really nice deep elbow bend. It's pinless. It's a pinless three and three quarter inch figure, which is crazy. Um, and you've got a thigh swivel now, which most G.I. Joe's never really had a thigh swivel. One thing about the new body, though, is that the hinges are no longer metal. Here, let me bring in another figure you're going to see in a later comparison. You can see how they did the 25th figures. It was metal hinges... The thighs were screwed together, pinless top, pin on the bottom. That's how they were assembled for the longest time, but you can see with this new body, plastic, thigh swivel, and then pinless. So it really makes for a much more clean look, and it allows for more articulation too because you actually have a thigh swivel now, so that's nice. Even though I do see concerns for the plastic hinge because it does look pretty thin in there. <laughs> it doesn't look the most durable. But still, man, it's it's really nice. You can see he's got really nice ab articulation, too. Like, for being a three and three quarter inch figure, this thing is awesome. I'm kind of surprised we haven't gotten a stalker in classified yet. But yeah, I'm I'm really loving this. He's he's so cool, man. He's so cool. Uh, I really... Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. I'm an actual idiot. There we go. He does have a place for the knife. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. Actually, if we want to make it more accurate to the to the box art there, the knife should probably be in like this. There we go. Jeez, why did I never notice that? I never noticed that. That is sad. <laughs> wonder if anyone in the comments pointed it out. But yeah, he's got the grenade there. He's got the pouches. He looks really accurate to actual, you know, classic stalker, and I love that. Um, so, yeah. I mean, what else can I say, man? It's a really great figure. I'm happy I figured that out about the knife. Oh my goodness, I would have made a total fool out of myself. 
So yeah, there we go. There is Stalker. Then let's talk about the Cobra Trooper. This is a figure that some people, um, I, when I say some people, I mean I saw one comment on his tank that said, that new awful Cobra Trooper. And uh, I would disagree. Um, you can see it's his Cobra enemy. It's got the nice classic card art. It's got the bio. It's it's all cool. It's got the, you, you know what it is. Um, you can go to G.I. Joe.com. Whoa, let's go to G.I. Joe.com. Guys, let's do it. I love the old Hasbro logo, by the way. So yes, I did get two of this figure because I love this figure. Um, when I saw it in the box in the store, uh, I was like, whoa, that looks really nice. So I had to buy two of them. And honestly, man, I love some of the previous Cobra Troopers we've gotten, but this is my favorite so far. I love it. Uh, it's the most faithful to the original figure that we've ever gotten um, because it has the blue hands. It has just the look. I don't know, man. It's just really good. <laughs> it's really good. It does have the fake gun right there on the harness. I wish it was real, but, you know, what can you do? You have the knife there. I guess you can also, you know, have it upside down if you want, but I like it sticking up. And then you can see he's got the hole on the back for a backpack. He's got his pistol. He does come with a pistol that you can put in the holster. Comes with, like, the Cobra, like, the sniper rifle. I guess it's almost like a sniper rifle that they used, right? And it also comes with this very garish bazooka. Well, at first I was like, why does it come with this big old garish bazooka? Turns out this is, like, one of the accessories that you would get with, uh, like, the J.C. Penny release of these figures. And it was Zap's bazooka. So... That's pretty cool. So yeah, they're very bright green. They're pretty they're pretty garish. But hey, it's an actual homage to the vintage, you know, Cobra Trooper figures. When it comes to like the look, because this is an all new figure. I say all new because it shares the body with the Cobra Pilot. Um, but still that was an all new figure, and this is also pretty much like the Cobra Pilot, all new. It's got really nice head articulation. You can see you can move his elbows pretty deep. Not super deep, not as deep as Stalker. But he does have the up and down at both wrists, like he should. So that's really great. Now, as you can see, even with the bazooka, with those up and down wrist hinges, you can get him in really good poses. Like, he's almost looking down the scope, holding the bazooka. That's crazy. And then, of course, he comes with the base. But you can see he's got the new style of hips, where it's plastic hinges in there, thigh swivel, double-jointed knee. And these new bodies also have ankle rockers. I don't know if I neglected to say that. They've got boot cuts and ankle rockers. So keep that in mind. Uh, and they're pretty detailed, too. I mean, they are kind of going for a more retro aesthetic. But they're pretty detailed, man. If you're a three and a quarter inch G.I. Joe collector, I don't know how you could be disappointed in this guy. I really... I, I don't know what to tell you. If you think this is bad, I do not know what to tell you. The head's really cool, too. I like the look of the face. Just has like that classic Cobra Trooper look. You can actually take that off. He's got kind of dorky hair underneath, but I mean, you're not really going to see that too often. And he looks great wearing the helmet too. Oh man, I love this figure. I just, I love it. And you can see he can kneel really nice. Like, look at that. That pose is great. So yeah, I want to compare him with some classic, uh, some other classic um, three and a quarter inch Cobra Trooper figures because I know some people are going to want to see that. Excuse him for not holding a weapon. I just didn't get... Oh, oh we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but yeah, excuse me, I just didn't get him a weapon. This is the 25th mold of the Cobra Trooper. You can see he's bald. But you can also see it's like over a decade old. You can see how the technology has advanced with the articulation. We got like swivel wrists here, no, no thigh swivel. Just like normal swivel hinge boots. But yeah, man, that's that's something else. That is something else. He still has the knife, but it's there now. Yeah, I mean, he does have some more paint on the 25th. He's got a lot of nice little silver details on the straps and everything. Which I do wish this one had it, but... Yeah, I mean, you, you can always add paint. It's just a little bit of silver sharpie if it bugs you that much. Um, but still, with all the articulation and with how prices have been going up for stuff, and all the accessories you get with this guy, too, I really can't, I'm not really disappointed at all with this new one. But the reigning champion, everyone's favorite Cobra Trooper, the Pursuit of Cobra, and later re-released in 30th Anniversary Cobra Trooper, 
I've got three of this guy because I love this guy. Actually, I have four of it because I have one carded. And honestly, comparing these two, man, I love, love, love the Pursuit of Cobra. But I, I have to give it to the new one. It's just way more fun to pose. It's just so much more fun to play with and pose. I feel like it looks better in all of its poses. Because this guy, like, he's he's got the, the up and down hinge there, which really limits that hand. Uh, his gun, these guys, I've lost a couple of these guns. Because it just it just it, it basically just is in there it doesn't even snugly fit it's just in there i just tip them upside down and it falls out but you do have the silencer you can put on it and you have the knife on his boot they use that mold so many times you've got the knee pads you can take off if you're so inclined um and he did also come with a bazooka and i think he came with like barbed wire and he came with a lot of stuff so that's cool. I mean, this is a really cool Cobra Trooper. He's got flesh-colored helmet on the inside. So that's kind of a detractor because you can actually kind of see that. Um, I think this guy had a weird... No, he his his was black. His, his is fine. And yeah, that freaking pistol came out again. So yeah, I mean, this guy, I love this mold, but it's had its issues. And it doesn't have the thigh swivel. But I mean, it can kneel great because, I mean, it's a, you know, classic. His helmet also doesn't stay on. Did I mention that? Yeah, also he doesn't have a helmet that stays on very well either. So yeah, this guy's just, he just has issues. I love this figure, but it just has issues. This one doesn't really have a lot of issues. So I love it. It's just kind of down like personal taste. Do you like the more realistic look of the 30th in Pursuit of Cobra? Or do you like this more really retro, but still really good style of Cobra Trooper in the new retro line. Now granted, good luck finding these. It was an absolute miracle that I found them. Honestly, they must have just put out a case and even then like there was maybe like 10 plus stalkers and only three Cobra Troopers. So a collector had already been through. But yeah, man, I really, really can't complain about these figures, dude. G.I. Joe Retro is really kicking ass. I'd love to see some more releases, some stronger releases. I don't even think these things have been revealed by the time that I'm recording this. They've just kind of leaked and shown up in stores. I think they're going to reveal them for the Walmart Collector Con. That may have already happened by the time this video goes up. I'm not sure. But yeah, guys, there we go. G.I. Joe Retro. Um, Lonzo Stalker Wilkson and the Cobra Trooper. I love these guys. They're so cool. I highly recommend both of these. Alrighty, guys, there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Uh, thank you uh, to the patrons. Here is the, fir the first patron shout-out that I am filming. Thank you to the patrons. Here are your names. Or just patron whenever this goes up. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Patreon shout-out. All that. I don't even know how exactly I'm going to do it yet. But I've done that in this way now for this video. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.